Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Grain markets finished up mixed yesterday. You had corn trading lower while beans and wheat finished the day higher. Been mixed so far this morning. Wheat got a real kick in the pants yesterday. Some short covering. Also, some funds are making their way back into the commodity markets. And wheat's around 30,000 contracts short right now. So got a nice little boost from that. Uh, soybeans got some more sales from China this morning. Over 580,000 metric tons sold for old crop. If you've been following the Wilkins Aguirre for a while, you know that the trade's been looking for some rather large cancellations, not purchases. So that was a little bit of surprise. China's been buying U.S. old crop beans, and they're continuing. We're not getting those cancellations that a lot of people think are coming. So we'll see how that plays out moving forward, but they're still buying. Weather down in South America is a little bit of an issue. I uh, got some pictures sent my way yesterday of some areas in Mato Grosso. I can't remember the exact town's name, but it's one of the largest producing towns as far as soybeans go there, and uh, it was basically almost parts of it were flooded. They've gotten so much rain, so that's an issue. Also, you've got dryness concerns down south in uh, Brazil as well, although they are expected to get some rain. So we'll have to see how that plays out. There are a lot of private analysts lowering their estimates as far as what they're expecting Brazil to produce as far as their soybean crop goes. So other than that, not a whole lot of other news out there. We did actually wheat market got some cancellations of 110,000 metric tons from Egypt um, so that came across the wire this morning corn hadn't really been doing a whole lot one way or the other right now uh, the situation in Ukraine is expected to be eased a little bit now that they're changing their political regime over there uh, that could shift some US demand back over to Ukraine as their premiums uh, for when they had the uh, political volatility going on over there should be taken out of the market a little bit, so we'll have to see how that plays out. But other than that, we don't have anything else for you today. If you have any questions, as always, let us know. Otherwise, have a great day. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by a Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors, such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore, investors should understand the risk involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure accessed at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.